I received so many messages in my DMs when Odin's Eye revealed their holiday collection. Let's go ahead and play with these. A huge thank you to Odin's Eye for sending these to me. This video is not sponsored or anything, but they did send this to me in PR, but Odin's Eye is one of those brands where I definitely would purchase them myself if I didn't have a YouTube channel because I kill it. They do, and you'll see that. So this is their first ever holiday collection. It is a Christmas collection, and the color stories are so fun. So the details on this launch, there are two eyeshadow palettes, which we'll get into later on in the video. Launch date is October 18th at noon Eastern Standard Time. So this video is being posted pretty much right on launch day. I will have the link down below to shop the palettes. I do have a discount code if you would like to save a little bit of extra money. I'm not not sure if my code is going to apply to these palettes, but somebody try it out and let me know. And when you do make an order on one of these palettes, you will get this free keychain right here. And look, the little Christmas stuff like floats in there. How cute! <laughs> and each of these eyeshadow palettes are going to be $43.90 each. Let's get into the nitty gritty. Let's take a look at these. The, the two palettes names are the Christmas Eve palette and the Merry Christmas palette. My family celebrates Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. I know some families Christmas Eve is huge, some families it's not, but yeah. I love that there's a Christmas Eve and Christmas Day palette. These are $16 pan eyeshadow palettes both contain eight mattes one unique multi-chrome shade and seven shimmering shades let's go ahead and get into these these are limited edition as well by the way and we're going to start off with the christmas eve palette get in my arm ready for swatches so here is what the outer carton looks like very very detailed here the palette is made in china cruelty free has a is it six month or 36 36 month shelf life that's a really long time i love that here's the back if you need to take a look slide it out of the box the artwork is the exact same on the christmas eve palette and then on the back, you will have the names of all of the shades. Open up the palette, and here is the mirror. It's kind of small, but you have cute designs around it. And then we got a lot going on with this palette. There's a lot of stuff happening here, but you'll see some of the mattes have a snowflake embossment, the Odin's Eye emblem here. Really, really beautiful. Let's go ahead and swatch these. You'll see this one is the cooler toned one, and then the Christmas is the warm toned one. Let's go ahead and swatch these. I'm gonna swatch like this. So we're gonna do the top row here with Snowflake, Eye Crystal, Silvery Dream, and Nightfall. That's what we're looking like on my fingers. Let's see it in swatch. So Snowflake is a super reflective silvery shade. Definitely perfect for this palette. Ice Crystal is a matte light gray. Silvery Dream is a darker silver. Has a little bit more grayish in there. And then Nightfall is a matte blue. Pretty vibrant. This itself can be a look just using these four shades together. Very pretty. Let's get into just now and yes the snail broke. <laughs> Snow light, Christmas Eve, and then blue ice. Oh my gosh you can totally get some insane blue looks with this palette. Just now it's kind of like a matte sagey green. Didn't swatch the best. There second coat did good. Snow light is a shimmering gold. You can see their shimmers are just so reflective. Really comparable to Pat McGrath if you don't want to spend the money. Christmas Eve is a dark matte navy. And then blue ice is a shimmering icy blue. Really, really gorgeous. Again, make a look with this quad over here. Okay, so now we're going into this row right here. I mean, I'm very, very familiar with the Odin's Eye formulas, and so far this is feeling right on par with the amazing job that they do with their stuff. So Feeding Time is this deeper toned gold, a little bit more shimmer based compared to the reflective shades. Then we have Nowhere, which is a purpley gray. Wonderful 
is a shimmering lilac. Then softly is a dark kind of pukey brown green. Very pretty. Even though I described it as pukey, it is beautiful. <laughs> and then final roll, this one right here is gonna be the special shade. Ooh, it feels really, really nice. Okay, are you ready for the reveal? Boom, look at this. We've all been waiting for this shade right here. Let's see how it swatches. So here's kind of like a lemony yellow shade and here is gorgeous, the multi-chrome shade. Ooh, you can see the shift there, very beautiful. We have night sky, which is kind of like a matte, dark, bluish, greenish navy. And then finally, blue star, which is got a very dark base to it, but it's a shimmering navy blue. And here's the palette. It's pretty incredible. It is a gorgeous, cool toned palette. Very wintry, definitely going to consider putting this in my best winter palettes for this year. I mean, exactly how I'd imagine a wintry palette to look. And on top of that, everything swatched really beautifully. Nothing is leaving me concerned of quality. And everything pretty much appeared in the pan as it does swatched on the arm. So I'm excited to see how these translate to the eyelid. I'm going to go ahead and swatch the Merry Christmas palette next before we get into the tutorials. Here is the outer cart. And I will say the packaging, as fun as it is, it's a bit busy for me, but Odin's Eye really puts a lot of time into their artwork. And then the outer packaging of the actual palette is the same as the box. And then here is the back as well. All right, Merry Christmas palette. This is what we look like on the inside. So this one is more warm, but it plays more in the bluish greenish tones. I think is really, really fun, very different. I mean, I love that it plays with the literal green and red of Christmas but they do it in a tasteful way. They really, really do. Let's go ahead and swatch these. This top row looks amazing. So we're gonna go with Elf Wish and go around this way. Here's what they look like on my fingers. I think Elf Wish, is this the multi-chrome shade in here? It, it looks like it on my finger, right? We'll see. But Jingle Bell also... So Elf Wish kind of is like a lime green and pink shift right there. Very awesome, love that. Matcha Cookies is a matte matcha colored green. Has a lot of yellow in there. Jingle Bell, Jingle Bell, sorry, is like a greenish gold, kind of hard to describe. You can see it has a lot of shimmers in there. And then New Leaf, this is a unique color, I think. I haven't seen a lot of greenish, I don't even know how to describe this, but I haven't seen a lot of shades that look like this. Pop it into the next row. Ooh, so here's what it looks like. <gasps> Ooh, look at this shade. Okay, let's just swatch them. Snowman is a color that is very hard to describe. It has like some lime green glimmers, but a peach base to it. Best wish, it's more of like a lighter limeish green color. Christmas tree is a matte forest green has a little bit of blue in there if you ask me then look at this shade this is new year and oh my gosh absolutely stunning how special this is like a bluish green with some gold shimmers in there a lot going on in there what i like about this palette is there still is some neutral options over here i mean not like brown neutral but things that can be toned down so you don't feel like you're wearing bright green eyeshadow. So Little Star is kind of a pinky orange shade. Gingerbread is a matte mid-tone orange. Bless is like a purpley hot pink. Not too much base to it, but it's going to look pretty on the eyes. And this shade right here is a red and a lot of brands won't create red eyeshadows. I found it fun that Odin's eye did. It's kind of a weak swatch because my finger was acting weird. It's not the product. <laughs> Getting into the last row here, which has some depth to it. Even a black. Ooh, this shade feels extra glimmery and textured, right? It's definitely more of a textured shade. So we have Hot Cocoa, which isn't really a hot cocoa-y color to me. It has more red to it. All Right is a shimmering orange. Happy Ending is a black. I'm happy. They have a black in this. Get ready for Santa Star. Wow, really extra reflective. 
And here is the final look at the Merry Christmas palette. Complete different vibe than the Christmas Eve palette. I think both are stunning in their own ways. I gravitate more towards the Christmas Eve palette, but I can see myself actually using the Merry Christmas palette more. As always, Odin's Eye, I can already tell, did a beautiful, beautiful job with these. They swatch stunning and I know they will apply stunning. Time for the tutorials. I'm gonna do one eye each palette now. Each palette here has a lot of shades, so I have a lot of testing in the future to do with these palettes. I feel pretty comfortable doing the tutorials this way because I am very familiar with Odin's Eye formula and they're gonna be good regardless. So we're just gonna do a little play sesh with both of the palettes. So I'm going to start off with the Christmas Eve palette on this eye. I guess we'll do a blue eye. I don't know. There's so many options with both palettes. A lot of versatility with them, which is one of my favorite things about them. So I don't even know which direction I want to go. I'm going to start off with Ice Crystal right here in the inner half of the crease. I'm using a Wayne Goss number three brush and I'm just going to blend this in the inner half right here. I definitely want to do something icy and blue with this one since that's the overall theme of this palette compared to the other one which is more warm. Plus blues are harder to formulate so we're really going to put it to the test. So we're just going to go into it. I'm taking a Luxie 229 and we're going into Nightfall which is this brighter blue shade. Get a little bit of kickback with this shade. Just tap off your brush. You'll be good. Apply this to the outer half of the crease. Now this one, when you blend it in the crease, it's going to be pretty sheer, but I just applied more out here and it had more saturation. I applied that second layer and that's how you get the saturation. It blends out very easy. I'm even going to take it a little bit further in with whatever's left on my brush. We're going to deepen with Christmas Eve right here since this is the Christmas Eve palette and we are going to focus it in the outer corner of the eye. Ooh, a little goes a long way with this shade. I'm already wiping my brush off to get some of the product off and let's soften the blend here. Then again, I'm bringing just a little bit, focusing it in the crease. Using the same brush, let's see if Night Sky will add even more depth. It does deepen it up a little bit. It has more green that it's adding to this look. Not a crazy amount of depth like I was hoping, but still very nice. Christmas Eve and Night Sky are a little bit on the close side, but nothing crazy. We're gonna go into Blue Star, which is one of the most beautiful shades that's swatched in this palette. It has potential to be messy, so. And I'm going to... If I wasn't trying to play with a large number of shades, I would pop this all over the eyelid. How beautiful is that? I'm just putting it right out here in the outer part of the eye to see what it looks like. But wow, I wish I could put that all over my eyelid. I would definitely have to do that for future looks. It probably will apply better with the finger, but it's pretty gorgeous. Next, we're going into Gorgeous, which is the multi-chrome shade in this palette. And this is going in the center of the eye. I'm just using a small brush. This is from Coastal Scents. I'm blending that in. How pretty is that? That brings in a fun purple element to this look. I'm wiping off my brush and I want to go back into the blues here. So I'm going into blue ice next. While I am using a brush, if you use the brush wet or your fingers, you're going to get a lot more impact. But I want to get the area covered exactly where I want it first and foremost. And then I'm going to go in with my finger into blue eyes, kind of press over it. And I'm doing the same with gorgeous and then blue sky star, blue sky, whatever. <laughs> Just to add a little bit of extra oomph to the look. And I'm going into the darkest shade, night sky, the matte. And we're just gonna redefine out here. Finally, we're gonna hop into Snowflake, which is the silver shade. Pop it right here, and then I'm actually just gonna go right over the blue to add a trail of brightness. Let me pop on some concealer really quick. We're gonna go into Nightfall. With the lower lash line, you are not gonna see anything surprising. We're just continuing on. Let's take some of Christmas Eve and apply this to the lower lash line, outer corner. And I decided I want the purples to pop through in Gorgeous, so I'm using a Refer number three brush. Just a small pencil brush, and I'm going to apply this to the majority of the lower lash line. Because the pop of purple is what's standing out in this look, I figured we might as well bring it down to the lower lash line as well. Like, how pretty is that? And then I am going to go into a little bit of blue ice and pop it right in the inner corner here. 
Isn't that pretty? Okay, let me do liner and lashes and I will show you the final look. All right, so here's the final look. I used Maybelline Tattoo Studio in blue and then I used the Makeup Forever Navy liner and I have my Cloud9 lashes from Velour on top. And this look is so pretty. There's so many other looks in the palette that I want to be able to do, but I wanted to play with colors that caught my eye and these have caught the eye. Let's move on to the other tutorial. This one's interesting with the greens, the Christmas palette. So let's go ahead and get started. I don't even know where I'm going with this. I have my Kaleidos Tone Activator on. So this to me is the most unique and questionable shade in this palette. So let's try it, New Leaf. Now we did get some fallout, you guys saw that. That's how Odin's eyeshadows are. Wipe off your brush and you're good. I feel like I don't have a color that looks like this color. Now it's pulling a little bit more sheer on the eyelid. I'm using a BK Beauty 201 brush, but it's easily built up, which is what I really like about Odin's eye formula. Very easy for a beginner because it starts off sheer, but you can build it up to the opacity that you want. This color is stunning. Okay, cool. Then I'm gonna try matcha cookies simply because I like the name of it. <laughs> so this look is gonna be a little bit more on the green side because I don't know, I wanted to play with them. So I've been super into green looks lately. So I've just been wanting to create so many green looks. And what I love about this palette is I do not have greens that are quite to this tone. This is super unique. So I'm definitely doing a green eye today. Okay, this is like a pukey green. I don't think it necessarily looks good with these two together, but it's fine, we're just playing. All right, Christmas tree. This is a Morphe M507, by the way. It's a great shaped brush. I'm considering covering matcha cookie, not because I don't like the color, but because I don't like the color in this look. But we're just gonna keep this to the outer third out here, keeping it in the corner. Take a clean blending brush and blend out the edges. And then I decided as I was doing that, that I actually did like the matcha green. So we're gonna add it back in, in the center. This shade looked incredible. So this shade, New Year, swatched incredible. I'm doing pretty much the same technique and placement of shadows that I did on the other eye because it allows me to really see the formula and utilize as much of my eye space as possible. But how beautiful is this shade? I think this is my favorite one in the palette. I'm gonna bring it in halfway. Right? Doesn't that scream Christmas green obnoxious? Like, I think I might wear this palette on Christmas Day. It only makes sense, right? <laughs> How fun is this? I'm gonna go back and redefine some of the matte Christmas tree shade. And then taking a small brush, let's go into Jingle Bell here and apply this to the inner half of the eyelid. Applying great with a brush, but would apply better with a finger as per usual with Odin's Eye Shadows. Mm -hmm. Yes, I love this palette too. They are both phenomenal. I'm gonna go in with a really small brush into Happy Ending, which is the black. And I'm gonna just focus this in the outer corner. Get it kind of smoky, right? With whatever's on your brush, bring it along the lash line. Small brush, Refer 23 is what I'm using. I'm taking some of Snowman. And I'm gonna pop this in the inner corner and below the brow bone as a highlight. <gasps> That's pretty, that added such a pretty brightness to the look. So pretty that I'm just gonna do what I did on the other eye and carry it up higher. This took Christmas very literally and I am here for it. So I'm gonna pop on some concealer and we'll work on the lower lash line. Okay, so on the lower lash line, we're starting off with some of New Leaf and I'm just gonna keep that on the inner half of the lower lash line. I'm taking some of Christmas Tree next. We have to do some of Happy Ending the Black. I'm gonna get it really close to the lash line. I'm running it along the entire lower lash line. We're gonna get smoky. I'm gonna pop a black gel liner in the lash line. So that's why I'm carrying a little bit of the product along the lash line. And uh, since I'm obsessed with New Year, my favorite shade in this palette, we are gonna pop this in the center of the lash line, blending it out a little bit. And then finishing off with Jingle Bell which pulls more gold on the eyelid, which I really like, than it looks in the pan. Actually, I'm gonna apply a little bit of snowman right here. All right, liner and lashes next. Here is the final look. I love these style looks with these colors for the holidays.
I went with these darker colored, very bright makeup looks just because that's what Odin's eye does best in my opinion. But there's a lot more looks I would like to get out of these palettes. I didn't use these to their full potential because both of these are versatile in their color story and there's just a lot of different ways that you could go. So as expected, this is a 10 out of 10 collection. Odin's eye really just kind of shifts my perspective on makeup in general because I'm not saying that these are cheap. They are $44 palettes, but the color stories that you get, the packaging, the attention to detail, the quality, the finishes that you get. It's like, why can't these mainstream makeup companies do this, you know? So definitely recommend these. Make sure you use my discount code at checkout. It is affiliated, meaning I do it a small commission or you can use somebody else's. I know there's a lot of other people that have discount codes. Like I said, not 100% sure it applies to this collection at this current moment, but if you get anything that's not from this collection, it definitely will. And definitely keep an eye out because I will be continuing to play with these. I already know these are gonna be a top runner. So I hope you guys enjoyed this review and found it helpful. If you plan on picking these palettes up, let me know and which one, which one are you gonna pick up? Cause they're both gorgeous. I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye guys, have a good one.